Welcome to the wiki on how to use PPStream. Now when you installed PPStream, when you click on finish, this will be the first pane that appears. It's, it's a pane, uh, an option pane. It's all in Chinese letters. Now just follow these steps so you can increase your TCP IP stack to increase the number of connections made. So when you click on the D, you can download this software, this little plugin. They recommend to have 1200 ports open. I think it's a little bit too much. Let's type in 250 and click on the A. Now you can see the process by the little bar here on top. Then this pane appears, just click cancel. And you get a second pop-up screen and just click on yes. Now you're ready, you have opened more ports for PP Stream. Just click on the E to exit. And now we can click on the C to cancel this. Now just take have a look at the program. On the left side you see the channel list. Unfortunately, it's all in Chinese, so uh, it's very hard to find a channel, but it is also possible to search. So let's type in here NBA, and you can see here at the bottom, at the middle, you see NBA. Just double click on the channel and it will load in the media player. As you can see here, the buffering some ads before the channel is loaded. Now when you have an image just right click on it and get a menu, click on the D and it will load in your default media player like this. You can see here that MBA is playing. Just have a few moments patience and it will buffer into your Windows media player. That's how it works. When you want to watch in PP Stream, just right click on it and select D and it will reload in the PP Stream media player. That's it on how to use PP Stream brought to you by P2PSoccer.com.